rely on word of mouth to scale and grow your business. My name is Tineke Rense and I'm from Powerful Business Academy. I help business women scale and grow their business with flow and ease. Why is word of mouth not a good way to grow your business? Well, let me go back. Word of mouth is amazing because it shows you're doing something very, very good. Your clients are happy. They are prepared to share you to their network, to refer you. And that's the best thing you can get. Why it's not a good way to scale and grow your business is because it's not uh, scalable. You have to wait until your clients refer you to someone. And yes, you can somehow scale that when you create a referral program. And when you ask all your clients if they want to refer you to at least two, three, four people and introduce you. That's a scalable way because when you know you have six clients and they will all refer you to two new ones, you have 12 to new clients or at least 12 new prospects. You don't know their clients yet. If you do not have such a strategy in place, word of mouth is not going to help you scale and grow your business. It's a bonus. It's not measurable. You can't say, now I want to have a new client through word of mouth. It doesn't work that way. Unless, like I told you before, you have it systemized. And you call a client and say, hey, listen, it's been a while that you referred someone. Who can you refer now? And I know for a fact, this is something which is not very easy for women to do. That's pretty bold to sort of demand of someone that you need a referral. So you need to rely on other sources of getting new clients because, and you need to rely on sources that are scalable. So when you do something once, it has a certain effect. So then you know you do it three times, it has according to three times the effect. Now, what are these uh, sources? For example, email marketing. It's measurable. You can measure how many open rates you have. You can measure how many people click on a sales link. You can measure on your page where people go and you can measure when they click on the sales button and buy. If you do that often enough, you can Establish that, for example, when you send out a thousand emails with a sale and you do that within a week, three, four times consistently, you will get approximately average so many sales. That is measurable. So we could say if you focus on growing your email list and you would send out 2000 emails for a week, three, four times a week, you could then estimate that it's going to double your sales. I hope you're with me. Another way you can measure is calls. You, at some point, you know what your conversion rate is when you call people. I know when somebody reaches out to me, my call conversion rate is very, very high. It's 75%. When I reach out to someone and I have a call, it's 25%, but it's still good. So every four calls I have, I have a sale. So when I have four calls every week, on average, I have one new client, which is four new clients every month. I know also when I call eight people, I have two clients every week and that's scalable. It's not scalable anymore when you want me to make a hundred calls a week because I also need to uh, mentor my clients and have conversations with them and help and support them. 
but I can train somebody else to do the calls. So that is scalable until unlimited. Well, at some point I need to put people into group programs because I can't coach them all one-on-one, -on -one. yeah? Another thing that is scalable to scale and grow your business is having a messaging strategy, connecting with people in the inbox on LinkedIn or on social or on um, WhatsApp or on Messenger, Facebook or on Instagram. And you know, after a while, that when you send out 50 messages, that at a certain uh, point of view, you, you will have so many conversations, not everybody responds. You will know, you will have, uh, of, of the responses, you will have, for example, tw two calls. And you know, when you have two calls, you have one conversion, or you maybe need four calls to have a conversion. All of this is measurable. And then there's ads. So when you pay for ads, it's very measurable and it's enormously scalable. When you pay, for example, 200 every week, or maybe you have less to spend, you pay 50 every week. At some point, you know, I have so many visitors to my sales page, which convert into so many sales. Or maybe you want to convert into calls and then if I spend 50 a week, I have three calls and I convert one. Yeah? All of those are methods to generate leads that are scalable. And I hope you understand now that word of mouth is not, because you're not in the driver's seat. And I'm reaching out to many women and I ask them, well, how do you get your leads? And they say word of mouth. Now, if you don't want to scale and grow, it's fine. But if you're tight and you really, or if you have a big ambition, if you're good at what you do, you need to reach out to more people so that you can make more money and help and serve more people. There's something else you need to know. That is your client's life value. So when you have a client, how long do they stay with you? And how much do they pay you? Do they pay you 50 euros? Well, then um, advertising with ads is not very easy because you, if, you, if you pay 50 every week for ads and you convert into one paying client for 50 euros, you break even. So usually with ads, it's sensible to have a higher price. So, and you know when you, for example, what you can do every week when you have, uh, you spend 50 euros and the next week you spend 50 euros and the next week you spend 50 euros, you know how many clients or how many calls, uh, conversations you will have out of that. At some point you can start to double it or triple it and then you know you have something that you can scale. So when I work with my clients, we always look for the one strategy that fits your business and your personality that is scalable. And for someone it's having so many calls, for another one it's having so, sending out so many emails with call to actions and, and offers. It, it varies and we might come up with a combination or whatever. The other thing you need to know is the sales cycle. So how much time does it take you and your client to finally convert? So for example, if you work with bigger organizations, it's often not the case when you have one call with someone that it's a sale immediately. Usually they have to talk about this with their uh, superior. And then my advice would be, you always need to speak to the superior. Um, or they need to pitch it to someone else, or the budget is finished, or whatever. Um, so you need to know the sales cycle. How long does it take for them after your initial first contact, whether that's uh, adding them on the email list, or whether that's having a first conversation on WhatsApp or any other uh, channel, until they finally uh, say yes and make the first payments. 
That time between, in between is called the sales cycle. So that's also important when you want to look for something that is scalable because preferably you want to have the shortest sales cycle. So one of the things is that you always need to speak to the decision maker when you want to shorten that sales cycle down. So I hope this has helped. Um, I always help with uh, the pitch script, the sales script, the, uh, the, the objection scripts, um, everything you need when you really are in front of your leads. And whether that's uh, written communication, whether it's verbal communication. And that's how you scale a business. Is that all? Well, that's how you get more clients. But when you get more clients, there's more things you need to do. Because otherwise you get, you get a problem. You, you don't have enough time. So you need to start outsourcing and automating and delegating. And you need to make sure that you don't get overwhelmed and overworked. So there's always more things to do when you want to scale and grow your business. So this is, has become quite a big training video. It's lo longer than five minutes, but I hope it's worth it. And if you want to have a call uh, with me, I always schedule 15 minute calls. Um, this is only helpful for you if you um, are in business a minimum of three to five years. And if you have a business to business service, then I can really help you to scale and grow your business. Actually, we do the communication for you. We make sure you have your calls in your calendar. How cool is that? My name is Tine Kerense from Powerful Business Academy, and I look forward to having a conversation with you at some point or to inspire you again next week for these videos. Bye-bye.